Hi everyone. This is Bob. With your afternoon tea time. A little uh, English tea. And some goodies. Um, yeah, this little chocolate cordial is the reason why I'm doing this video. And we'll see if I could uh, pump this one out here about this here. The Delicious uh, Maison Christian Dior Privé. I'm gonna express my feelings on why I love this so much. It's not a review. It's just uh, me trying to put out some good love and feeling vibes amongst all this uh, stuff in the world today and yesterday that uh, was kind of crazy and easily not not feeling good about so. All right, we'll start it right here. A little uh, biscuit. I got this from a friend. She got a box of uh, C's candies. I don't know if you have it where you are, but she got a whole box of them because her son found out that I like them and uh, she likes them. It's probably my favorite chocolate in the whole world. You know, when you get those samplers, um, bam, when you were a little kid, you, I would, uh, hunt for this one first and just eat it. And, uh, my parents wouldn't mind. And it's a cherry cordial from, uh, C's Candy. So, um, excuse me, I'm just going to take a little bite out of this. So that was God's way of telling me that I should uh, do this video on one of my favorite Dior's in the entire world. So excuse me for the mess. Cherry is one of the main reasons why I love Fab Delicious so much, but I don't like cherry in, 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 in every uh, perfume. I, I don't like its uh, kind of scratchy harshness and uh, medis medicinal, but it's not like that here. The Privés are all powdery. This one is overly sweet, and I don't mind that, just as long as it's buffered by the uh, incredible powder that uh, this perfumer puts in there, uh, Francois de Marchi. Um, so this is a gourmand, and I recently told myself it is my favorite gourmand. Uh, yeah, out of the whole shooting match, I would say, uh, Feb is. And I'm not, a, I'm not a gourmand connoisseur or a lover. But the powder, so I get cherry cordial. This is, it reminds me of my my life. Another thing I get, all right. I mean, the, the boozy comes from, uh, I'm sorry, the gourmandness comes from a cacao and um, the praline-like uh, dessert. And I, I think the cherry is all part of that. And of course, the tonka. I also get a boozy a powdery booziness that also reminds me, I wish I had a bottle of this to show you as a prop, but um, you know that liqueur that they would have commercials on TV? There was a bottle of this in my, my dad's cabinet when I was growing up and we they weren't drinkers and it would be there forever. And as I got older, I would sneak a, uh, a sip of that sometimes and that's amaretto uh amaretto 
I guess that's the uh, specific brand, Amaretto di Serrano. And it's good on the rocks, right? You've seen those commercials. And I like that. And Fev. Oh, I'm getting a nuttiness now. Reminds me of that also. Um, so that adds to the gourmandiness in a boozy uh, way. Um, and this also has uh, a little rough leather, I think, in there. Um, and like I said, it's uh, it's powdery, and that counteracts the uh, sticky sweetness uh, that's in here. So I don't find it um, sticky on me. I find it a nice dry, believe it or not, a dry wear because of the powder. And that's not all. Um, this has lac lactonic uh, accords or, or milk note that I like. And it also has a, uh, it's weird, it's weird smelling. It has that doll's head quality, the weirdness that I love in, in, in some perfumes. Um, plasticky, I guess, quote unquote plasticky that I like. Uh, I find that in um, Polish's uh, Queer Beluga. Um, and on a, one of the late uh, releases from Celine, the House of Celine, it's, I tried the um, sample of Dans Paris. And that's a lot like um, Queer Beluga. Maybe it's copied it a little bit. But it has that Play-Doh uh, like smell, which uh, I get a kick out of. Um, and I don't get Play-Doh in here, but I get plastic, kind of plastic, like, uh, you know, like a doll, a doll's head. Uh, it's been described as on the chats. I remember uh, specific people talking about that, you know. So that's another reason why I love Fed so much. Um, not just the cherry, not just the cherry cordial. Um, but that is definitely my favorite chocolate in the world. I'm not a big chocolate lover. I'm not a huge sweets lover. Um, but if you give me a choice for sweets, I'll take uh, Fabulous Hughes. Um, I can wear this three seasons out of the year and enjoy its powderiness even in, in my hot climate here. I got this bottle in early 2016 so this thing was uh, this thing was bottled in 2015 probably and it, was, it, it came out around there you know I remember uh, it was my one of my earliest Dior's this and Ombre Nui um, that was a fun time. I love it because also it, it's uh, been around with me this long. I liked it when I got it, but not nearly as much as I like it now. And it smells great. Um, and I've gotten feedback on it and people, uh, People react to it and they say, "Yeah, it smells good." Then, then I ask, oh, "What do you get? What do you smell?" And they, they all say the same thing. I don't, I don't know. So, but people know when they like something, but then they can't uh, express it into uh, words and adjectives like uh, we fragheads like to do. So, yeah, that's why I love uh, Fet Delicio so much. Um, yeah, and I kind of like, I don't mind uh, being the loner on the island. I, I, I mean, I never comment about it, but um, it don't matter to me. None. And the takeaway from, from this video here is probably, no matter what it is, try to find out, single out the ones that you really love now and ask yourself why and uh, you know, pick it apart. Um, 
It might take time. It might be an old release. It might be a new one. It might take you a long time and a lot, lot of wearings, but. It's good to have something that uh, you really get into. So take this out of here. Cherry Cordial. What a mess, Bob. So. Thanks for uh, hanging out with me on my tea. And I'm glad I had uh, this little reminder to talk about that. Let me know if you've uh, made any recent discoveries that you've had for a while that you, you just love and you know that you always will love. I just wish I uh, listened uh, to that wonderful Dior expert. You know, she was a Dior trained expert and uh, she says, we got a bigger bottle of that too. I just, I got the bigger bottle of Ambre Nui and I should have, uh, myself over the head I should have got the bigger bottle of this too you know but if I can go back in time I would have I would have got the bigger bottle and keep it consistent so tell me about a perfume that you love and uh why not just because uh you know it's hyped and uh Tell me about one that uh, is not so popular loved and that uh, you like. Because uh, it's all about your tastes. And it's like shoes and ties and, and blouses and everything like that. It's, it doesn't matter what, what the other person likes. You're, there's, a, there's a billion different kinds of opinions in this world. And this is fashion. And it's uh, your job to find out uh, what you like to wear. So anyway, um, I will leave you here and uh, I will get back to my uh, biscuits and tea. In the meantime, please get back to me and um, write in the space below um, your feelings. Okay. See ya. Tea.